Mazem Nadikanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has indeed won the Kaaba. My brothers and sisters, now they are beginning to see for themselves that they made a big error for kidnapping him in Kenya. My brothers and sisters, as I am talking to you right now, Senator Abari Bey has finally broke silence on the arrest of Mazem Nadikano. He said, I may not say much now as regards to Nadikano's arrest by the Nigerian government led by President Muhammad Buhari, but the only thing I have to say for now is that let's keep our fingers crossed and watch as the ruling procedure because it is obvious we are not going to accept any form of intimidation whatsoever from anybody as regard to this issue. Fulani, Ketu, Reras, carry gun and matches everywhere. Nobody is seeing them to arrest. But the only person due for arrest is an innocent freedom fighter. I repeat, we will resist all form of of intimidation over this case. Ask me if Igbo elites are in support of Umnadikanu or not does not make any difference whether they are in support or not. They still remain the minorities, the masses who voted them into power are the majority. Can the minority defeat the majority? I don't care whatever anybody say about me drumming support for my brother. It is none of my business. I read a publication online where one of them who live in Lagos State and work with the Lagos State government on sanitation says he will soon write a book against me for supporting Nandikano. And I ask myself, this person who said he will write a book about me, what is his contribution to his people? People are frustrating your brother and you are busy clapping for them just for personal gain. I cannot force anybody to speak in favor of Nandikano if they like let them speak if they like let them castigate him if they like let them keep quiet it is absolutely none of my business i am a baribi i can never be like them and they can never be like me that's how god created us this is what senator baribi said my brothers and sisters i want you all to understand that the 200 years old Seva Torah has just arrived the biafra land from Israel. Days after Mazem Nadikhanu was kidnapped, I brought you this news. Recall that Mazem Nadikhanu declared in one of his brokers that any day that you see the Silver Torah appear in Biafra land, it means that Biafra has come. To put the record straight for the benefit of doubt, the Silver Torah that is being celebrated everywhere, especially by my fellow comrade in the struggle is a gift to Nigerian Jews Youth Forum from an organization in Israel under the canopy of We Were Never Lost that wished to gift the holy rights to the Biafran Jews here in Africa. We, the Jews in Nigeria and Biafran, have been expecting the holy gift for a while now. And finally, it is here. So it is a thing of joy for all Jews and Biafrans in extension, but should not be twisted as our beloved leader's arrangement or anything of sort. It's actually a historical event, but should not be taken out of context. My brothers and sisters, Sisters, I want you all to understand that a lot of things are happening in this country called Nigeria. Already you can hear for yourself that Ma Zemna Dikano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, will soon be released from the detention of the Nigerian government under DSS. Already you can hear the confirmation from the IPOP lawyer. But I want you all to understand that the Nigerian government made a mistake for them to kidnap from Kenya. Even the Kenyan government realized that they made a mistake in their contribution and now they are denying the event. Let me explain something to you. When Mazem Nandikano said a time like this will come, some people thought he was only speculating or making noise. But you can see for yourself that that time is right before our eyes right now. We need to understand that if we don't rise up in a time like this and fight 
fight for our rights, then that simply means that we have accepted to be slaves in the hands of the same people that have been enslaving us right from the onset. Look around you and see what is going on. Biafra is very close and this is the reason why the Nigerian government is tensed. Most especially for the fact that now the Saudi governors are coming out to challenge the northerners consigning their evil plot to take over the whole of Nigeria. To a point they even insisted that the 2023 presidency has to come back to the south. The so-called northerners never saw a day like this to come. The unity of the south has always been a threat to them and this is the reason why what just took place some days ago is historical. Because if Ma Zemna Dikano never spoke about this situation, maybe we would have still be in this kind of situation where they would have been using the southerners for their evil purpose but now look at what is going on in this country called nigeria we need to understand that the power is in our hands to change things let nobody deceive you that we are not going to be free you can see things for yourself ma zemna dikano has already won the war against the kaba and this is why i want to encourage all nigerians to rise up in large numbers and support the disintegration of Nigeria for the betterment of all the trapped nationalities in this country called Nigeria. Thank you.